For this next lesson, I'm just going to show you a couple of the different uh, bits of functionality that are available in SPSS. It's obviously a very comprehensive program that does a ton of stuff, and we're going to be using just a small fraction of that um, during, during our course this July. But I suspect that many of you will want to use other features or will be able to use SPSS for, uh, for other reasons, um, and this should certainly help lay the groundwork for, uh, for that. Um, so what you're looking at right now is just a blank SPSS screen. Um, and you know by clicking in here, you can see all these different menu bars that are up here. Uh, but in the window um, option, you can see this syntax editor. And as I've mentioned earlier, the, uh, the concept of reproducibility um, is going to be a cornerstone of this course. Um, and so it's really important that you get familiar with um, the syntax editor. Um, even though you probably will never um, be that interested in writing this code um, on your own, um, the program will produce it for you, when you whenever you run a function and then hit the paste button. So um, this is what we produced last time to read in the, the uh, baby names data set. So as I already showed you, I'm going to read that in and hit uh, that play button. Um, it actually means run, run code, but to me it looks like an old school VCR or something like that. Um, and the data populated in this window right here called data set one. Um, so just to show you kind of the three different windows you're going to see, well, there's probably, we'll call it three and a half windows that you're going to see. The first is the data window, and this is what it looks like, but it has two different views. The first is this data view, which just looks like um, an Excel spreadsheet. You know, these can be sorted. Um, there's a bunch of cases here. They can be searched. So if you wanted to uh, go up here and search, um, your basic, tabular data format. Um, then uh, there's the variable view that, uh, that I'm clicking on down here. And this is basically showing you the type of variable, the names of the variables, the labels, all of those different uh, pieces of information about each specific variable that are, uh, that are listed in here. Um, the other window that you'll get very familiar with is going to be this output window. And the output window is going to be where your charts and your graphs, your plots, all of that information is going to show up. It is also going to paste all of your syntax in here so that you can go back later and, uh, and see what you did. Um, and then finally, the window that uh, we're going to be using is the, uh, the syntax window, which is right here. And again, um, this, this is the code that opened up our, uh, our data set right now. Um, so that's a, a basic description of the three different types of windows that you're going to use. To give you an idea of the output window, by the way, here's this um, name, or we'll use gender. You can stretch this out right here. Here's sex. Um, this function right here does run descriptive statistics. So let's just say you clicked on that. What's going to happen is it is going to show you some basic descriptives in the table. So this is in your output, uh, your output window. So it looks like uh, of this data set, uh, almost 60% are female and uh, the other 40% are male. Um, and what this data set is, by the way, this is the census data for every single uh, person born in the United States, um, along with their, we'll move over here, their biological sex, the year that they were born, this, the uh, individual's first name, the total number of people born with that name, and um, the proportion of the people within that year who, uh, and within that gender who were born with that name. So in 1989, you can see that uh, almost uh, about 3% of, uh, of males were um, named Michael. So uh, that's a, just a quick introduction to the different uh, views that we're going to use. In the next video, I'm going to show you exactly how to change one of these variables. And then in another one, I'm going to show you how to filter down so that you can begin to get a sense of some of the, the functionality in SPSS. So away we go.